Hello everyone. So in this video we will discuss about the randomized quick sort. So how it differs from the normal quick sort method. So let's see. Here we have the algorithm and uh, so I will tell you in case of normal method the running time of the quick sort uh, at the worst case analysis uh, will be order of n square. So we are going to reduce to order of n log n with the help of this randomized approach. So let us see how what is the algorithm for that. So here we have quick sort of s if s is nothing but the given set of elements. So if s is less than or equal to 3 if s is less than or equal to 3 which means the number of elements in the s are less than or equal to 3 then sort s without doing any computation like we are not going to implement the concept of divide and conquer or randomized approach if the given s value is less than or equal to 3 so output the sorted list so as usual if we, we can use the normal method to sort the given set of elements else so we are going to the else part choose a splitter ai so how to choose the splitter and how to perform the splitter operation so that we discussed in the last video. AI belongs to S uniformly at random. So we are randomly selecting any one of the elements from the given input list. And based on the selected element, we will divide the given uh, list into two groups. So that is what the splitter for each element so this is a uh, statement these are all the statement that we need to include to perform the splitter operation for each element aj of s put aj in s minus if aj is less than i ai put aj in s plus if aj is greater than ai so this is nothing but uh, we are going to split the given input list into two groups this is the first group and this is the second group first group will consist of number of elements which is lesser than the selected pivot element and the second group will be consisting of number of elements which is greater than the pivot element so this is what the concept of this statement end for recursively call quick sort s minus and quick sort s plus so we are going to apply the quick sort method on these two groups so what is the quick sort method so after dividing this we are going to sort it so how to sort operation uh, the normal quick sort method so how we are performing it the same procedure which we need to follow here so randomization takes place only in dividing the list into two groups how we are dividing so how we are splitting the two, uh, list into two so that is what uh, done randomly right so now output the sorted set s minus then ai then uh, sorted set s plus this so this ai which is nothing but the element what we have selected in order to split into two groups so that is what that all element also we need to include because uh, in those two groups this particular element will not be present so after uh, sorting out you should uh, merge that uh, uh, splittered groups into a single group right single list so you need to include this a also so that is what uh, given here and finally so that could be the output so even somewhat uh, better than this algorithm so we have uh, some modified quick sort algorithm so if you look at this same set of procedure will be repeated here some modifications will be done here so let us see what is the modification if yes is greater than or equal to 3 uh, uh, I mean if s is less than or equal to 3 so what is the uh, number of elements we have under s if it is less than or equal to 3 then sort s else while no central splitter has been found while no central splitter has been found so splitter so we have to perform it so all those uh, statements whatever we have in the previous algorithm same thing will be repeated here choose a splitter ai that belongs to s uniformly at random for each element aj of s okay so we are just dividing into two groups so how that can be done put aj in s minus if aj is less than ai put aj in s yes plus if aj is greater than ai end for so till this statement we have the same st set of statements whatever we have in the previous algorithm one more uh, statement we have included in this modified quick sort if s minus is greater than or equal to s by 4 and s plus is greater than or equal to s by 4 then a is a central splitter so what is the meaning of it 
suppose if you have s that is the first group set of elements in the first group is greater than s by 4 and set of elements in the second group is greater than or equal to s by 4 if these two condition get satisfied then we can say whichever the ai we have selected in the first iteration so that will be the good splitter central splitter Okay. Otherwise, we have to perform recursively call this quick sort S minus and S plus. So output the sorted uh, set S minus, then AI, then the sorted set S plus and diff. So only thing we have included this conditional statement here in the modified quick sort in order to find out in the first iteration itself if you get the good splitter. So that will be returned as the final output. Okay, so we it is enough to perform only this quick sort on the given two groups. So no need of uh, uh, checking whether it is uh, no need of going for the good splitter again and again. So if you check it in big, at the beginning itself, then it will it is somewhat a time consuming thing, right? So we can save time. So we can reduce the running time of this particular algorithm to O of n log n. So that is what the running time of this algorithm. So let us see one of the example here. Um, s equal to 22, 11, 10, 3, 56, 72, 84, 25, 51 and 15. So this is what the input list we have. So here the n value which is nothing but 10. So now if you want to find out the k value, so n is even. So E for even uh, you should divide n by 2 so that is 10 by 4, 10 by 2 that is 5 k value is 5 here now a, a i value so what is the a i value so pick any of the element randomly so that is what a suppose if I am taking the first element any element we can pick we can select right so if I am taking a i as 22 where i is it to be 0 that is what the index of that element S minus which is nothing but so what could be the number of elements which we have in the first group the number of elements which are all lesser than this pivot element or said to be the first group elements so here you have to compare all of the remaining elements with this pivot element so 11 is lesser than this so it will be included in the first group itself 10 3 56 will not be included in the first group so it will be included in the second group because it is greater than 22 72 is also a big number which is greater and 84 and 25 and 51 and again 15 is lesser than 22 so we can include in the first group itself so we have divided the uh, given input list into two groups now we need to check whether it is a good splitter or not whether it is a good splitter so what how we are doing it we are checking the one more condition whatever we have in the modified quick sort s minus is greater than or equal to s by 4 and s plus is greater than or equal to s by 4. So here what is this s minus the number of elements here we have that is 4. So 4 is greater than or equal to so how many number of elements we have totally that is 10 10 by 4 which is nothing but 2 and s plus which we have number of elements as 5 so 5 is greater than or equal to so here we will be getting both the conditions are true then we can say it is a good splitter yes obviously if you check we have actually total number of elements as 10 and one element we have picked as a pivot element so the remaining elements are 9 so from the 9 we can divide equally as 4 and 5 yes one group has only 4 elements and another group has only 5 elements because this is what the good splitter this is what the good splitter so we found the good splitter in the first iteration itself so as per this example we got this AI as a good splitter right so whichever the element uh, which I have selected randomly so that will be act as a good splitter it divides the uh, given input list into two partition and somewhat approximately it is it will be a good split so the and afterwards you need to apply the quick sort operation on these two uh, list uh, so afterwards we will be finding the output sorted uh, sorted uh, array list as a final output okay thank you